Hey guys, it's Jacob here with Resonate Recordings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record remote recordings for your podcast using Zencaster. You're going to need a computer with Google Chrome browser. You're going to need a good internet connection, a, preferably a USB microphone, a mic stand, a pop filter for your USB mic, and then for your guests, if they don't have a USB mic, they can actually use iPhone earbuds and you can record a pretty high quality recording using Zencaster. It's gonna be a higher quality recording than a Skype call or a phone call recording or anything else. So I would recommend using that um, if possible. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and we'll go over all the steps to record using Zencaster. All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to use Zencaster to record remote recording. Zencaster is a platform that is designed to record remote recordings for your podcast, record separate tracks. Um, we found it to be a really helpful tool to use that. So they do have a free version that you can use and we actually have a paid account that allows you to have unlimited recordings and also allows you to record wave recordings. So it does have some additional helpful features that may be helpful for you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to Zencaster.com. If you don't have an account, you're going to want to start recording today. You'll go through and you will set up your account. And once you have your account set up, you will go to Dashboard. And then you're going to create new episode. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new episode and then we're gonna invite our guest and we're gonna show you how to record your guest, invite your guest, and walk you through how to use and set up Zencaster to record your remote recordings. So once you put in the name of your episode, you're gonna hit create and then you're going to be taken to this screen. So this is the screen that you will see if you're hosting the recording on your end. A couple things before we invite our guest. Um, we want to do the drop down tab right here that I just did. And then uh, once you see that, you're gonna see health check. And a couple things you're gonna wanna just check before you do invite your guest is to make sure that your input is selected as the correct one. We recommend using an Audio-Technica AT2005 or ATR2100 as your USB microphone. You can see that my input is current, currently selected as my internal mic. Um, so we wanna change that. So to change that, we're gonna select the settings cog in the top right hand corner. And then we're gonna change our input from default to the AT2005 USB microphone that we have plugged in. So you wanna make sure that you change that before you start recording, otherwise you cannot change that. And we'll walk you through on the guest side here in just a minute of how to make sure that your guests have the appropriate settings. In this scenario, our guest is going to be using iPhone earbuds, which we have found actually surprisingly give you pretty high quality if your guest does not have a USB microphone. Obviously it's ideal if, you're, if you have a consistent guest that they would also have an Audio-Technica AT2005 USB microphone or Audio-Technica ATR2100 microphone. One thing we want to make sure that you always use headphones. Um, we currently have on a pair of Sony headphones that we'll include a link to below. But any type of headphones can work. Just make sure that you have that selected, plugged into your computer, and you should be able to hear yourself and your guests will be able to hear you through that. You can also plug your headphones directly into the back of your USB microphone if that's something that, that you want to try to do. Um, you will hear no latency monitoring if you do that, and that will work, work fine. So. Uh, you're going to leave your monitor as disabled. If you select enabled, you're going to hear an echo of yourself and you're going to hear yourself. And for most people, that's pretty distracting. So we're going to leave that as disabled for now. Um, echo cancellation, you can leave as disabled, no echo cancellation. And for the VOIP, we're going to keep it as the Zencaster v VOIP. One thing to note, if you can, we do recommend that you plug in hardwired to your internet connection. We have our Wi-Fi on, um, but I'm gonna actually turn that off. And then that's gonna make sure my connection stays to the hardwired connection. All right, so once we've checked all those settings, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. We're gonna click that tab to drop up. Actually, we're gonna leave that tab down. Um, we're gonna look at the health check. Everything looks good on our health check and we'll cover that in more details in just a second once we get our guest on. 
All right, so once you're ready to invite your guest, you are going to click invite, and then you will send this link to your guest via email. And the nice thing is you can always send this in advance, and then your guest will join on. So we're gonna go ahead and send that over. And then once our guest gets the link, they're gonna join, and they're gonna show up below. Uh, while we're waiting on our guests to join, just a couple other features that we will cover. We do have a chat window here that we can chat with our guests once they're in and they can see that. If you had a producer or anything that you want um, to have on as well, they can you know, chat and make notes and stuff like that for timestamps. This is where you would just mute yourself. So like whenever we do some remote recordings for some of our clients and so we're basically just sitting on and producing the show and listening as they're recording and we will mute our microphone while they're recording. It looks like our guest has joined. Um, hey, John, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. So you sound pretty good. Um, thanks for joining on. And uh, we've gone over everything on our end as far as how to record using Zencaster, making sure that our settings are set up correctly on our end. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to make sure that your settings are all the correct settings and that everything's set up properly for you to record. So perfect. All right, perfect. So the first thing I just want to ensure that you have your earbuds plugged into the plugged into your computer, um, and that you're in somewhat of a quiet environment. Uh, yes, I'm using uh, just some iPhone earbuds uh, that has the built-in microphone. Uh, yeah, I'm in a quiet location. I got them plugged into my laptop, so I think I'm ready to go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and what I may do. For our podcast in the future is I'll mail you a USB microphone that you can use, but iPhone earbuds are going to work great for this episode. So the first thing I want you to check is in the top right hand corner. Do you see that settings cog? I do. And it has like a little speaker in the middle. Go ahead and click on that. Okay. Okay, perfect. And let me know what you see once you click on it. So uh, under audio settings, I've got audio input, audio output, and monitor. Okay, perfect. So under your audio input, I want you to go ahead and click that drop down and let me know what you see. Uh, so the options I have are default to the external microphone, uh, external microphone built in, and Soundflower uh, two channel and 64 channel or Pro Tools aggregate. Perfect, perfect. All right, so yeah, we're gonna focus on your internal built in mic. So go ahead and click on that internal built in mic. And that Perfect. should default to the microphone that's actually on your iPhone earbuds that you have plugged in. Okay. So that's going to work great for this recording. Um, and then for your output, same thing. I want you to go ahead and uh, select the built-in output. Perfect. Okay. And uh, go ahead and change the monitor to enabled. I just want you to hear the difference. Okay. And now you probably hear yourself echoing, right? I do. Okay, go ahead and disable that. For most people, that's pretty distracting. So um, for this recording, we're gonna disable that and that's gonna be what most people wanna keep it as. Um, so once you've done all that, you've checked your settings, you can go ahead and hit save settings. Okay. Okay, perfect. So you, real quick, I'm gonna go over the, the health check with you. I don't know if you can click the tab in the middle and it's gonna drop down and then you can click where it says health check and it'll drop down and show walk you through the critical checks and the warnings. Okay. Perfect. So the first thing you see is uh, your microphone properly connected. So everything under this critical check section is going to be uh, important. We want to make sure that you pass all these checks and it looks like you have passed all of them. Um, so that's great. All of these are really important. Um, just a couple things to note. If, if for some reason your microphone was turned off or it was selected as the wrong one, you might fail one of these. Okay. And, uh, and in that case, then you would need to kind of troubleshoot that. You can do that by going to system preferences. Um, and then under system preferences, under sounds. And then you can check your input and output there. And you can change that to internal microphone and output there. Um, that's not a common issue that we, we find, but it does occasionally happen where the input or output will be muted or not found whenever you're trying to record. So something you may want to check. Perfect. A couple other things just to go over here is, um, you know, the basically you want to make sure that um, you have the same sample rate. Sometimes there can be a mismatch between the sample rate of the browser of Google Chrome and Zencaster. And so if that ever happens, if you get a failed on the mismatch or the sample rate in the allowable range, basically the last two, what you're, all you're going to do is just click in your browser, 
um, and then you're gonna just refresh the page. So I'm gonna do that now and it's gonna refresh both of our tabs. If you wanna do that as well, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. And then whenever we refresh, it's gonna go through and do the health check again. And so then once the health check goes through, um, it's gonna rerun the health check and it should pass if you have any issues on that. So everything looks good on that. Uh, just the warnings are basically just recommended things talking about internet speed, internet connection, and local storage access. Um, it looks like you, it's recommended that access lo local storage should be persistent. Um, you can click on any of these support articles and it'll kind of give you more details on those. So we're gonna go ahead and record because it's not a big deal. Basically, if you bookmark the Zencaster page, it should get rid of that warning. Um, but for our recording, we're gonna go ahead and, and do it. So um, once we're ready to record, um, we will just hit the big start recording button up here. But before we do that, John, do you have any questions for me? Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay, perfect. And just know that, uh, yeah, we, we are uh, doing all the post-production for you. So if you mess up or anything on your episode, feel free to just pause and start over and we'll make sure we edit that out with smooth transitions, make sure it sounds really good. So um, just take a deep breath, no pressure. And uh, if you mess up, we'll fix it. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right, so we're here on the Resonate podcast, and I am talking with industry expert John Street. John is a production manager at Resonate Recordings. He has an extensive background, um, is an awesome writer, and a phenomenal guy. So thanks for joining us, John. Appreciate the, the uh, opportunity to be here. Yeah. Just uh, so you know, for this episode, we're covering Zencaster and how to use Zencaster and how to podcast with Zencaster. Um, one thing I really like about Zencaster is it shows the wave files as you're recording. And so it's like a like a, a DAW digital audio workstation. You can see the waveform showing up as you're recording. Um, you probably see that on mine right now. Mine's a little softer and John's is a little louder. That's kind of a natural thing. Uh, John, one thing to, to keep in mind whenever you're recording with the iPhone earbuds is um, make sure that you don't move around much. Otherwise, it will pick up like kind of the, the scratching on your shirt. One thing, to, one way to fix that is you can kind of pull the mic out a little bit from your chest. And then that should fix the problem, any noise and stuff like that. Perfect. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Perfect. Yeah, you sound a lot better now. So, um, all right. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for, for jumping on the show with us today um, for this episode. And yeah, we look forward to uh, catching up with you later. Happy to be here. Have a great day. You too. All right. So once we hit, once we're done recording, we're going to hit stop recording and you want to make sure that you let your guests know to not close out until they see the, you're all done pop-up window. Um, because Zencaster records the two files separately locally, and then it uploads the files once you're done recording. So it just has to upload the, the MP3 and the WAV files if you have the, the paid version of Zencaster. So yeah, once you're done, we're all done. All of your tracks have been finished uploading and now safe to close this tab. So John, have you seen that tab on your end? I did. So I just clicked the OK Got It button. Perfect. All right. Yeah, well, that's pretty much everything as far as recording. Um, once you're done, you're going to see your tracks below. John, John on his end will just see his tracks. But since I'm the host, I'm going to see everybody's track. And you're going to have MP3 version and WAV files. So you can just click on those and you'll actually download to your local download on your computer. And then from there, you can upload it to the Resonate app um, for us to do the, the professional mixing and mastering for your episode and make it sound really great. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions about recording remote interviews for your podcast, feel free to reach out to us at hello at resonaterecordings.com or give us a call at 1-888-917-8793. Cheers and happy podcasting.